Frau Bundeskanzlerin, herzlich willkommen beim Stand der ABB. Dear Mr. President, welcome. Welcome to our stand. Please come over here. This is my head of Germany, the head of the US of ABB. So if you please, if I may invite you to join me here, behind here. Come. So this is an electric motor that gets produced in Fort Smith, Arkansas, together with 5,000 of these motors every week that we produce for industry. In industry, half of the energy consumption goes in electric motor. And with this little device, we will be able to reduce the energy consumption of the 300 million electric motors installed in industry by 10%, which is the equivalent of about 100 nuclear power plants, power production. So how do we do this? This little device will be put on the motor here. We get the data out. The data goes into the cloud and will be controlled here in our control system. With this, we connect all the products that are in an industrial plant. With this, the motor helps us to understand how he feels that we can really optimize productivity. With this little device, we have stand down times reduced by up to 70%. We take the life of the motor, we increase it by 30% and reduce the energy by 10%. We are seeing insgesamt here eine transkontinentale Partnerschaft der Motor aus den USA mit dem Roboter aus Friedberg in Deutschland. We want to connect the things, the services and the people. And if you do that, you get an end-to-end -end optimization of industrial environment. And that's where the efficiencies come from. Is, is that's the efficiency. So you're able to monitor on a real-time basis yeah. uh, where suboptimal performance is taking place. Yeah, if you take, you have, you have a certain risk of downtime in electric motor. Imagine this motor is in the middle of a paper mill. And this paper mill is running constantly. So if you would have a problem, it, would, it might shut down and it stops the entire paper mill. If you have the pre predictive maintenance data that come continuously, you don't have that because you can send out a service technician before the motor breaks down. And that means you have continuous flow in the process. So are you able to attach this to old motors? Yeah. Because presumably new motors, you could actually just build it into every motor. Absolutely. The nice thing about this is we can retrofit it without any cabling, you just screw it on the motor, it has communications, it does not need cabling, and you put it in. There's about 300 million motors in industry out there. If you retrofit that, that's the cheapest solution. About six years ago, this would have cost $800, because it has a lot of sense in computing power and connectivity. Today, it's less than $50. So that's really a major breakthrough that we can do there. And it's not always the big things. Sometimes it's the small things that make a big difference. Well, then this would, would have uh, significant applications in terms of energy savings as well. Absolutely. And if you would make this... So if we care about climate change, we need the, this aber, kind of efficiency. But as the President said, in the future, would you build the motors also so that the already in the sensors? Also wir haben beide Lösungen. Wir haben die Lösungen im Neugeschäft, bauen wir die Sensoren bereits in den Motor ein. Bei den installierten Motoren ist sehr oft ein hoher Widerstand da, die auszutauschen. Ja, Und hier kann man Retrofit machen. Nee, nee, das habe ich schon verstanden. Sie können dann ja noch andere Größen vielleicht auch erfassen von innen. Nicht? Genau. Also hier haben Sie ja nur das, was Sie von außen sehen, Vibrationen oder Temperatur. Vibrationen und Temperatur im Wesentlichen, die wir bekommen, was die wesentlichen Parameter sind im Motor. Innen drin können wir natürlich auch noch die Wicklung überprüfen, die Qualität der elektrischen Wicklungen nach vorne gehen. Pleasure. Thank you very much for your visit. I really appreciate your visit. Thank you very much. Herzlichen Dank, Frau Bundeskanzlerin. Vielen Dank für den Besuch. Dankeschön. Wie viele Konkurrenten haben Sie für sowas? Das ist im Moment noch konkurrenzlos. Konkurrenzlos, ja.